Oh. Yeah, come to think of it. <laughs> I don't think I've ever done this video yet. Uh, last one sort of send off here for uh, June as we go into Canada Day. Because I'm not feeling a thousand percent. And I'm feeling uh, slightly uh, under the weather, run down a little bit, just somewhere around 700%. Trying to get up to like 800 to 900% feeling like. I know there's a comedian Kreischerism, Bert something. Oh, 100% this, 100% that. Well, that seems kind of small minded, don't you think? You can go up to a thousand instead. No, without 100%, just like, how cliche are you getting when all you ever say is 100%? I'll bring it up to a thousand percent. I'm not feeling thousand percent right now more like 700 <laughs> percent trying to get better <laughs> but now we're moving through june is ending and we think about this of all things teenage mutant ninja turtles remember this this, this huge enterprise thing mass global Movies and TV shows and everything about Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. You know, pick up every five, ten years. Again and again, new, uh, new films and things. I'm not. I'm near next door to a pizza shop of all things. And this pizza thing, when it originally written, kind of this metaphor actually. Pizza is pizza. But pizza is also something like cigarette or uh, tobacco. Now there's a mystery of mysteries. A secret of the ooze, which they come back to in part two. So in part two, they do this because uh, they got swept up. They were like, literally like, they didn't know, they got whirlwinded themselves into like the craters of uh, original Ninja Turtles. It was, a, it was a comic book in one store in like Kyoto or something on consignment. This was not supposed to go anywhere. Like I sort of understand better. <laughs> it's a... Uh, it's a manga strip or whatever in some hidden hidden consignment store tucked away in one store in Kyoto or something. I don't know I don't exactly know. But the one day this mysterious entity, which the creators of the comics, I think they entitle him Oroku Saki. Must have been this almost almost half drunk. <laughs> Uh, Chinese or Asian, Vietnamese, Cantonese businessman who walk in there and see something in this black and white comic strip or comic book, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and decides to contact them and and invest in their comic book, and then faster than they knew it, they're starting to make cartoons and and dolls and movies and they, they they stopped themselves for a second to like catch a breather like secret of the use <laughs> you were supposed to be the first movie <laughs> it got it got so it went happen before they even knew what was going on they were they were blowing up right Teen Mutant and Ninja Turtles was a global empire success in its day so, Roku Saki, you know, all the names are fictional. Uh, used in fictional ways. But, uh, Roku Saki is half kind of, half out of it. <laughs> Businessman sees something in these Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles comics. Or this one comic, again, in Kyoto, probably on consignment. This was not supposed to go anywhere. Like, this is the most unbelieved in thing. <laughs> this comic. <laughs> 
book. Like that we even know about it today is a miracle in itself. Like everybody did not believe <laughs> in this consignment book. That's what they that's what kind of blew them away. It's like we're supposed to be an underground sewer thing. We we were not supposed to be anywhere. We were not supposed to know that <laughs> but we even are breathing. <laughs> we were, we are more than fortunate that uh, well, we got out of this consignment store. <laughs> oh. So we see cigarettes or smoking as metaphor. It's pizza, you know. Well, what, what do you like on your pizza? Keep away from the anchovies. <laughs> All the good stuff to, <laughs> yeah. because and funnily enough, these the individuals that create Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, you know, they see themselves as sort of like that. We're these green small guys <laughs> smoking away, sick on on our idea. We're artists, you know, the Michelangelo's, Leonardo DiCaprio's, you know. Donatello, Raphael's, or these artist types. But since we we have this yellow Asian heritage thing, we have martial arts in our history. We're, we're almost like, because we have this, we're almost sort of like pushed into being martial artists. Like, we, we'll just know what to do if, if faced with certain things. Like, there's some, some kind of keen awareness in there that's martial art like that built into the yellow person I guess like if you if you have more of than more than 10% of it and you face some sort of threat or danger some sort of martial artist lives in you <laughs> a very beautiful thing <laughs> like oh don't don't fuck with me <laughs> or don't f with me if push push come to shove they will get they will find ways to find martial art it's just bo born into them they have the, you know, this green, yellow artist, martial artist thing ingrained into their DNA, I suppose. <laughs> I'm kind of guessing I, I have it in small ways, but not nearly as much as someone really born as Nguyen <laughs> something something. <laughs> last name Nguyen, first name some sort of North American thing. They just have it in them. We're gonna get martial art, art artist uh, aggressive against certain things. We just know what to do if faced with things that we don't, we find unpleasant. We'll just we'll pop you over the head or whatever. We'll ninja chop and karate chop you out of out of our way. We'll find the way. So they have that, I think. But at least from this martial this uh, teenage mutant ninja turtle idea. That's why maybe it gets so popular. It's like, oh yeah, we forgot. <laughs> we totally have this martial arts history background legacy thing. Um, all the way from, you know, samurai and kimono wearing days. <laughs> those sort of things. So I, I, I'm, maybe I'm similar too as an artist type. No one believes in my comic, <laughs> my consignment store type music in one shop, in the underground, underground internets. You know, I write Teen Spirit 2.0, who cares, no one. <laughs> 80 persons, right? And they're not even persons. What they are, pay-per-click, active suppressionists. Give me the impression that people care about what I do, but that's 80 views. That's a, that's nothing. <laughs> it's a paper click and a uh, and a bot <laughs> bot, like just keeping it suppressed and not known. And that's really unfortunate for me because uh, pattern recognition of like, oh, here's a really great possible new generational artist ready to say stuff. For these times, well, we're gonna keep him under saran wrap in the internet, underground sewer like th small places nobody knows about. Can't access me because I'm restricted away from 
popular, popular circles. Very unfortunate for me. The internet is not serving me. These gugglers, they do nothing but actively suppression that which could be pattern recognized as new, important, and happening, and really good. I'm Kurt Tyler Hurricane, KTH.